Now I ain't one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speak. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Chow, at this point, Wendy Williams' divorce cannot be more real. You can tell that she's really ready to be done with her husband, Kelvin Hunter. I believe that spousal support and child support really struck a nerve because Wendy is dissolving the Hunter Foundation. Chow, let's first talk about Wendy Williams wilding out with Black China last night, honey. Wendy and Black China went out for a night on the town and the girls had fun. Now, I've been divorced before and Wendy is going through her if you don't give a damn, I don't give a mm, period. Kelvin, it's probably best that you close your eyes during this period because Auntie Wendy is turning up, baby. We were doing it to the music. (laughs) Everybody was so embarrassed in a fun way. You know what I mean? Like, Kev looks at me like, look at mommy have fun. Appropriate fun. But look at mommy have fun. And I'm like, look at my boy over there. You know, looking at his Mom, have fun. (laughs) I'm just saying. I'm not complaining or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, it's just like nice. It's it's nice. Love you, Wendy. I love you. Wendy and Black China went out with Lil Kev, and Wendy just seems like she's finally able to enjoy life. <laughs> Wendy, how's the single life treating you? Wonderful. Wonderful? Yep. Woo. Are we gonna be in a relationship anytime soon? Um, I'm making friends. You're making Maddie. friends? Yeah. What, what's your type right now? What are you looking for? <laughs> no, no, no type? Nothing particular? Him. Definitely not one. Fair enough. <laughs> I won't see you guys when you're um in the I think I'm alive for I love it. Wendy is out here living her best life, honey. She is not worried about Kelvin. Now, speaking of Kelvin, let's talk about Wendy getting rid of the Hunter Foundation. Wendy announced yesterday on her show that the Hunter Foundation that she shares with her husband, Kelvin Hunter, will be dissolved and she will be working on other organizations. And so, listen closely. I will read you the following statement prepared for me. Um that you would have gotten anyway, but that's one of the good things about having your own show. You can actually do it yourself. Wendy Williams has been and remains committed to helping others in the struggles of life. While accepting her new reality, many things in her life have changed, including the dissolution of the Hunter Foundation. Wendy's giving spirit will continue through her work with other foundations. And she was very clear to emphasize the word other. Now the Hunter Foundation is a leading nonprofit that provides grants for drug education, prevention, and rehabilitation programs. Basically, it's a hotline that provides assistance in helping you to the road of recovery. And from what I've read, the people that work there are recovering addicts as well. And that typically happens. You employ them because they are the best at understanding addiction and helping others reach the same path that they've successfully reached. Well, because Wendy is shutting down the organization, these people are going to be without jobs. Jobs. And I would hate to think Wendy would be heartless like that. Now, I myself would just change the name to the Wendy Williams Foundation and take Kelvin's name off of it completely. Now, I'm sure with having sponsors and everything, that may not be possible. And I'm sure if it was an easy fix, Wendy definitely would have taken that road first. Well, the Hunter Foundation has been very near and dear to Wendy's heart. People talk a lot of junk about Wendy and remember her for all of the things that she said and done, but this woman is a big giver. When I look up the Hunter Foundation, Wendy is in the streets truly giving all the time. Just recently, she had a radiothon on April 26th raising money for the foundation. She got off straight from doing her television show and went and did a radio show again to raise money for the foundation. This was just a few weeks ago, so I'm really thinking that that spousal support and child support thing was the last straw that broke the camel's back. Now again, Wendy Williams started the Hunter Foundation in 2014 with her then husband, Kelvin Hunter, to provide grants and services for youth and families suffering from drug addiction and substance abuse. 
Well, unbeknownst to them, a year later, her son, Kevin Jr., was given K2, and they jumped into action to get their only son on the good side of good. Now, K2 is a dangerous synthetic weed that Kevin Jr. took at 14 years old at the time. Now, Wendy said her child's addiction changed her son into somebody she didn't even perceive. She said, I was horrified. My son became someone I didn't even know. She said, I noticed changes in him immediately. Immediately, it zaps your brain immediately. So Wendy and Kelvin weren't playing with this matter. They rushed their son off to Dr. CB in Honduras for a seven day stay at his village that cost about 1500 a day. Now, if you didn't know, Dr. CB has cured people that were suffering from AIDS, cancer, diabetes, fibroids, herpes, drug addiction, high blood pressure, you name it, he had you covered. He also helped Lisa Left Eye Lopez before she passed, and he's helped many people around the world. As you may know, Nipsey Hussle was actually working on a documentary on Dr. CB's life before he passed. So Lil Kev did his seven day stint and was just fine. He stayed there with his mother and father. Her son was um, made exposed to synthetic marijuana. And he was exposed by, you know, a loved one who he looked up to. And it's one of those pens where you don't see the smoke and you don't smell anything. And you know, you and I have known each other for years through the TV. And you know, I'm the mom, I'm flipping rugs, I'm going through Nike boxes in his room. I'm always, I'm telling you how to flip the, you know, the ceiling and figure out what's going on. Well, I was duped and our kid had been smoking this mess and he got turned out and to the point where he went off the rail for a moment. And the reason that we, me and my husband and my son, we were choosing to share this with you. This is not a surprise to any of us. I'm trying to make funny on the, on the tour, but in actuality, my heart is breaking and my kid could have been dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Fortunately, Kevin has two parents who took harness of the thing. We took him out of the country for holistic treatment. Now, I don't, we didn't want to pump him with psychiatric drugs and all that other kind of mess. I'm glad to say that our boy is on the good side of good now. <laughs> Now, Wendy has previously opened up about her own drug addiction in the past and even recently stayed at a sober facility in New York. So now with her closing the Hunter Foundation, knowing how near and dear this organization hits home, it doesn't really sound like the Wendy that I can't say I know, but definitely not the Wendy that I've read about. Now, Wendy is very, very smart, y'all. Don't get it twisted. And Wendy is very, very careful with her words. That's why she read that on a card to get exactly what she needed to say. However, with Wendy saying other organizations and the way she said other organizations, I feel like Wendy will be opening up her own, probably employing the same people that were at the Hunter Foundation and then possibly get the same sponsors as well, if not new sponsors. I don't think that she's getting rid of Kelvin because she doesn't want him to get any money from the organization because again, this is a non-profit foundation. However, I'm thinking she's just ready to get rid of Kelvin altogether. I don't want him on my house. I don't want him included in my businesses. I don't want him on my taxes. She's ready to get rid of Kelvin altogether. I honestly think that Wendy just wants to get this divorce underneath her belt and once she does she's gonna hit the ground running what I need you guys to do is tell me what you think about Wendy Williams dissolving the Hunter Foundation do you think that she's still gonna look out for these people or do you think she's just done with everything leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely passed the test. Y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products, honey. And use my code Chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you. 
Also make sure to check out X Moisture, which is a 100% organic moisturizer that destroys all your skin problems. Eczema, dry skin, rosacea, you name it, they got you covered. They also have before and after pictures. Check them out at www.xmoisture.com and tell them your girl Chronicles sent you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.